Hello guys, and if you kind of recognize like my first ever kind of short and technically a video, it was more like a short, but either way, of ages and co of conflict. Now, you really more spectate in this game than really play, but we're going to try and play as Illy in this scenario and try to stay at like the level four and try to decrease um the other countries amounts so let's go into the scenarios um let's see um which one should we do let's just do 2024 okay so 2024 and this is europe and begin okay so the first thing i really want to do okay so let's build up our thing there and attack this country of course establish core okay we're doing pretty good um let's try and get a huge nice loan and we're gonna start trying to fight this is our first country and we're gonna try and throw down money Boom. We won that war. That's good. Now, as you play through, you got to also um, establish cores where it's, they can re revolt. So, yeah. It looks like this country's pretty down, and we are at, like, five right now. We want peace. Not actually right now would be a smart time to do that. Let's attack this country. Let's just throw down the whole thing and increase it back up here for us. And I guess because we got it down to zero. No. Okay. Now we eliminate them. Let's get the city um, core. And so far, the Roman Empire is going to rise back up. But. It looks like we can take advantage of France right now, actually. Let's increase up to about five. We can't cheat all the way unless it's just by the games doing. We can't force them to go down to one, so. We can only like do loans or take loans, like snatch it loans from them. And I think we should peace right now. Okay, good. That's a pretty good chunk. And I think we should attack about Albania right now. Let's get a nice chunk. Okay. This is a combat efficiency, by the way. Determines of the successfulness of attacks. Ranges from 1 to 6. If it gets to 1, nation loses their defensive. So it randomizes every few years um, if progressive... See, E is on efficiency changes gradually. All right. Then we got gold. Gold is automatically while at peace. Basically, gold is used while in war. Running out of gold stops the uh, nation's ability to defend itself. So it's the same thing as this. So it's like either way, it's the same value. So. It's not good if you lose both, especially. And let's try to do a snatch up loan. Okay. Oh no. Let's gain this back up there. If I could just. Who am I also at war with? Oh. Let's peace with these guys, by the way, so we can get. And they are pushing us back. Let's try and decrease this. And get a loan for us. Okay. And I think that's where we're going to peace. Okay. We're doing pretty good so far, actually. But we need to get gradually this back up. Okay. Now, how do we... Let's pause this. How do we get that? Is this? Winter take, takes it all. Upon 
conquering a uh, capital, the nation is annexed by the attacker. That's pretty cool, but combat efficiency. Let's do progressive. So it's more fair. And a new looks like a pirate nation appeared. Since Croatia seems pretty weak, we're gonna try and take advantage of them and increase our um, gold. And I think we should just peace right now. Okay, good. We're doing all right. <coughs> Excuse me. And, <coughs> ooh, we have the perfect moment. Let's try and tone down their monies right now. We have the perfect moment. Oh, well, still pretty good. Let's try and tech again, actually. <clears throat> um, you can speed up the time in here, and it's already 2049. Sheesh. So, pretty steady, but I'm going to peace. So I have a nice stable area. So we're pretty huge, I'd say. Oh, we need to increase back again. Man, Croatia's back. Get on top. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back. And we're not going to be in any outnesses. And we're going to attack. Okay. But that went horrible. Well, now what? Who should we attack? Albania. Yes. Let's take advantage of their... Oh, we need to decrease their loans. Snatch it loan. We're gonna just call it for now on a snatch it long. And we just got kicked out from our gained territories. And now we're losing. Okay, we're just gonna snatch it all. Boom. Yes, there we go. Okay, good. Right now, Bosnia is in a really bad state. So let's just have a huge snatch it long, guys and get a huge loan. But for the most part, I don't want to use a lot of those huge things. So it's equal. And let's just peace because these guys are really powerful. All right. And we're gonna do our first ever, since a part of our alliance, we're gonna annex them for benefit. Okay. So we're doing really good, I'd say, right now. And right now, Spain is doing horrible. Too bad, Spain. And you know what? We're benefiting, guys. Hold on a second. Let me just sit down. I don't know why I was standing there for a second. All right. So, and it looks like that nation got destroyed. Why does that look like at the end of like almost World War II Germany? Jimmy, you you're not really a g bro. Never mind, you are really powerful. And how is Croatia so powerful? Except until now. Let's decrease their thing quite a bit. But increase ours. How we're gonna do our first sacrifice. Oh man. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, good. See, that's the problem that these guys are making. They're not like being small and establishing these cores here. And we should play peace with these guys quick because these guys. These guys are also powerful. We need an alliance. Let's see if we can be. Yes, that's perfection. And we're attacking these guys. Woo! Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry guys. If that was weird. All right. We're huge. Well, I officially say. And we're really, really powerful. And I'm sorry to say 
Tucky, but eventually I'm going to have to betray you. Your country is in the middle of our existence. Okay. Let's also, real quick, do established core time. You become established core. You become established core. Every country gets a, every city gets established core. This is gonna take forever, man. But hey, in the end, it's going to be worth it since we don't want revolts. Just play the Jeopardy music, guys. Is that considered? No, that's considered another territory. Not my problem. Anyways, mm -mm. now we start attacking these guys. Now, let's just do something funny. A little huge snack it thing. Mm -mm. Guess, but since it's like a fault, no. And we're pretty powerful. We also should probably annex that too. So now that we're super powerful, let's check the statistics. We're number two. But our friend is only number th like four. Let's just give them s some more stuff there so they can get more bigger. Why do I feel like this is going to get them bigger? Okay. No, it's not. So, who's this country? Cyprus? Huh. That's weird. I'm going to do something different. Switch up. Oh, no. Don't do that. The only thing we could play. Ooh. Let's do a major snatch it because these dudes are buff, crazy buff. That's why they're real. Okay, you know what? Let's just peace, you know? That's why Germany was having them as a friend. I think the. Oh! Perfect moment. Snatch it. Power. Yes! Ooh, these guys are getting pretty powerful. Either way, we're strong. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh-uh. I know, though. And you just lost that. Oh my. See, we have to go back and attack this country because of you, Amen. It's just like in World War One, you always fail when we're trying to fight countries. Oh my. Anyways, let's just continue while France is in the Downfall, no, no, I'm not trying to get involved. And let's just get our little money thing a bit more up and snatch it their lands. Okay, let's grab this as established core. And I guess that's it. And let's do a little piece. These guys are slowly getting more smaller. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Now let's attack. Ooh. Boom. Small. Nice. Now we're more powerful. But we need this as a city. That will be helpful. And let's just be havoc. Boom. And annex. Okay, there we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was nice enough. Oh, shoot, sorry. This. I was nice enough and gave you independence. Okay, good. 
And there goes Belarus. What is... Oh my... Let's just do something that will help us. Just this once, another sacrifice. Since we really, really need it. I know, we're becoming super desperate at the end of this. Establish more cores for cities. Wow, we just became powerful. Whoa. We just defeated these guys quickly. And I bet we could defeat these guys even more. Yes. Nice. And they are small. Can we fight these guys? And I think we basically can. Wow. Let's just annex us since we're so powerful. But we need all of this land. I'm doing the, the little thing there, that little annexation. All right. So I'm going to grab a few more. Oh, no. No. Major and another major. Um, loan snatcher. Why does that sound like something criminal to do? Eh. It's probably nothing bad. Alright. And I think we should peace. And we're gonna have a, a bad time. If you get it, you get that reference. I, I can't tell who I'm that say. Either way, let's just go one by one annexing these cities. Are you Russian? No. Not anymore, y'all. That, that sounds terrifying. If, if I was the nation, oh, if I was the nationality of Russian in a country and I said, oh, so you're Russian? Not anymore, you all. What going to be? I would be terrified. I'd be saying, what do you mean, dude? Uh, yeah, we, we dead. We dead. Ah, uh, We got really far there. We dead. And boom. Okay. Since we died, let's do something different. Let us make a scenario. And yes, you can make scenarios on this stuff. I know, I know. Really cool. Should we do this? The world map launch? Europe. World map. World map small. Why are there three different versions of world map? I have no idea. United States. Northern Europe. Okay, there's too much options. This is perfect. I could just make continents on here. Can I? But now, let us make random civilizations in here. Right here, we're going to have a different civilization that I'm going to call... Oh, no, no, no. Um... Gain... Cap. Yeah. Estan. Gain Cabia Estan. Wow, I, I wouldn't even thought I would have been able to pronounce that as a name. Either way, it owns all of this section. What part in the world is that? I, I really can't even tell. It's really difficult to make out. Never been able to tell which one's which for what part in Pangea. Either way, that is the gain Cabia Sten. And we have the Northwood Tron. 
Yes, we're gonna call them Northitron. North it North it Tron. How would you even fully pronounce that name? North it Tron and North Tron. Huh. Whatever. Whatever. Uh let's just trace these. And they'll say in the war back then that there was this North Tron ancient empire that was just like the Romans. Yeah, sure. That sounds pretty cool and I feel like this is gonna be the most huge civilization here. Huh. Who do you think is Bell, guys? Vote down in the comments below. Gain Cabia Stan. Uh, I know you guys aren't gonna tape it all out, so just say gain. Or Northitron. Just say North if you want to. Alright. And we got over here. We got Pentagonia. Wait, you named it a normal name? And. No, well, it's supposed to be over there, but it, it, it's still a normal name, so. P Pant. A gone. Yeah. Uh, Pentagons. Yeah, sure. Let's just call it Pentagons. Why is with the Z that seems like a 2017 Minecraft YouTuber? Anyways, let's just trace the the things like an artiste. Okay, there we go. So far, the world of this is coming together. So we're gonna have the great, <clears throat> the 15th century. You're thinking, what is that name? Well, if you go back to one of the Egyptian early history, they named themselves like century and stuff. It's weird what they named themselves with. Okay. We go, I might give them also the Midwest. What, they like the Midwest, okay? And then we give them the little part there, the little coast. This world is starting to form like a picture of a puzzle. We're gonna add one, two, three, four, and five. That's the most that we're going to make. This one's going to be called after a city. What city might be asking Islamabad? I'm pretty sure that's not how you pronounce it, but I'm pretty sure that's the capital of Pakistan. And also, please tell me if I pronounce that wrong. I could be insanely wrong. I'm horrible with um, international uh, pronunciations. Okay. And we got Costana. Because um, it's quite a lot of coasts. And we're, we're going to give it quite a bit of land. Like, this might be the most hugest one yet. But all of them are pretty huge, but we're going to call this Ant Art. Ant Art. And then we're going to have Ustin. Ant Artisan. Wow. That actually seems like a country that would exist with that name. I'm actually quite shocked. Man, I am so great with naming countries. Oh, that's for sure the biggest one. No way that's not. And then over here we got, perfect, um, Corner Nation. Or we can name it after Corner Now it sounds like a, a country that produces a lot of corn. 
and a lot of countries want that land because it. Oh, we missed a country. I can't believe we missed a country. What even is this, Paul? I guess we can call this Latin. Or Jazz India. Since uh, Jazz is around this area that we're going to give it. Also, that huge French Louisiana area. Yeah. So now that has that huge area and this piece. All right. And that is that little weird world that we made. <laughs> Sad. Oh, let's cancel and let's save this. And we're going to call it A E G. Oh, A E. G N A B. A G A G N A P. Either way, it's backwards. Um, no. Why am I freezing? De Pangea. Either way, let's just spectate real quick and see how it goes. So, this is the world very quickly. I can't even say it all that quickly because it would be too quick. Let's see. I told you Artisan was going to be the most huge. Whoa! Northotron became huge quick, but nope. Artisan is the most huge now. Uh, Jasonia, you're going to be dead. Yeah, okay. Last countries, the last country left is going to be this country, but let's just do it like this. Boom. And boom. Which the yeah, okay. There we go. And an artisan wins this scenario of backwards named Pangea. Anyways, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I just wanted to change up from Roblox a bit. Just try something new. Um, but yeah, uh, just a reminder that we're trying to hit a 100 subscriber goal by the end of 2024. So I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. And just really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!